Hey everybody, welcome back to Days Gone. Uh, we're heading out on the bike, obviously. We've got a few things that we want to do, and uh, we're going to start by visiting the Memorial Stone again. I imagine this gives us some type of flashback scenario uh, into some history with Sarah, and then we're going to cruise on over through here and eventually down to um, tracking the deer with Copeland. So let's rock and roll. I'm really digging the look on our bike, not going to lie. I <laughs> am pretty pumped I got it. to go back to the Copeland area because we'll be able to unlock a few things and hopefully get more bike customization. Like we need, obviously we need a bike that goes over tables, but it's like, you would think that that would be standard at this point. It's just not soon though. Let's, let's not test out the pool bike scenario. So I had a lot of people obviously asking uh, what my thoughts on the game are. I mean, you can probably tell I've been having a great time. Uh, absolutely. Whoa. We've been having, we've had better times. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we've had better times, so obviously riding on that bike. But, uh, yeah, the game is not perfect, but it's super fun, and I'm intrigued with the story. I don't know where it's going to go, and I don't want any spoilers. I don't want to know anything. Uh, I, so I'm, I'm pumped about it, but you can probably tell that. So I think a lot of people were probably really over-enthusiastic about it, or it was kind of flying under a bunch of people's radars, and depending on which camp you were in there... Who the hell? Oh, freak. Yeah. Why are people in here? This is not good. Uh, let's try a health cocktail. So what does this do? It's boosting our health. We're gonna try this. <laughs> For the love of Christ! Wow. Ooh, there's more. Okay, so that's quite nice. It's like a slow regen. Got him. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I'm really enjoying the, like, possibilities that can come up with some of the stuff that we're able to craft and hopefully utilize. Uh, how do we get across to there again? We have to cross through these things? And, like, we've had some run-ins with hordes. But I want to see some giant hordes and be in a position where we can deal with them because that'll be super fun. But yeah, to answer the questions, been having a great time. Uh, hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps... Asking me what goods it do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know, but Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. 
It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. You know, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? Damn. I didn't really consider it until now, but... I can understand how the boozer situation... Oh, look at this! We have a shortcut. That's so nice. I can understand how the the boozer situation, like, we're feeling guilty about that because we were like, yeah, you ride through there and draw as many away as you can and then we'll come in. What the? O'Brien. It's goddamn O'Brien. What did he say? Uh, Metolius Springs? Metolius Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? That's confirmation. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. <laughs> okay, like that's... Say, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. That's pretty important, so where is it? Oh, that's the rifle, not a gun. Maybe right, it's not updated. Let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Oh, Brian, get some questions for him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, making contact. That's way over here. Track down the Nero agent, O'Brien. Damn. Okay, so here's the new plan. It doesn't make sense to just drive there and skip all of this. So we're going to deal with this ambush camp. Fine. Uh, it gives a crafting recipe. We're going to deal with clearing out these infestations. Uh, reputation with hot springs. And then both of these give reputation for hot springs and Copeland's camp respectively. We'll store the power at these ones. And then we'll head to uh, track O'Brien before we head south. That seems like a decent plan. Uh, let's just make sure that we... Tag it appropriately. There we go. Deacon St. John, you out there? You got a job out here in the springs. A little Tucker, busy at the moment, okay, Tucker. I'll head your way. St. John out. It's taking me another way here. Maybe there's a different path to get here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see lights. Be cool. Now, I don't have... I don't think I have a silencer. Oh, I do. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Men come, come on, come on, come on. Wait, what? Oh, what? I gotta clear the camp. 15. Bunch of murderers and thieves and I can't let any of them escape. That was sketch. You know, sometimes we make these shots and it's like, I feel this moment of brilliance. Stopping off. Or it's just perfect. Uh, the other option, oh, you know what we really need? I need some like tree saplings for arrows. Big fire at the top there. Yep. We've got something. Or someone nearby. Where are they at? 
giant. Where is everybody? Oh, we got a sniper laser over there. Cool. For them. Not cool for us. See one across the way? I saw someone. Not good. It's on. Holy frick. Alright. Guess that's how it's gonna go. It was really hard to get an idea of where any of them were. came right up on me. Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade our uh, our focus. I think that would help a lot. <laughs> what are you guys Bye using now. here? I'll take it. There we go. Oh, come on. I got one more shot with this. Let's grab this back. At least we have some bullets. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Can't jump that. I got him. Whoa. How many of you are there? That don't matter. <laughs> Not enough. God. I wonder if we I, I should look down like the maybe the focus tree or something see if there's a way that we can God See if there's a way that maybe we can, like, identify enemies or something when we're scanning. There's four more. We know that there's a sniper behind us somewhere. I should have tried to repair my weapon. Did he see us? I don't think he sees us. Where's the sniper at? What the? Oh, he's way down there.
Here we go. Probably freaked right out. Oh, we'll end that. A tractor inventory is full. Man, we actually picked these things up, like... Seemingly relatively often, but... You kind of start to not notice the things you pick up as much, because it's, there's a lot of it. Yeah, I have no idea where the others are, so... Where are they hiding? We have no noises. There's two left. Oh, I heard one. I I saw out there. Oh, there she is. Ooh. We have other friends. Nice headshot. <laughs> I love when he calls it out. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's take this. Oh, sure. Jeez. Probably repair the bike. I know I'm like pretty much a perfect driver, so maybe not, but. Gotta be over here. What the? Now I got you. Where? Oh, are we just circling each other? Oh, there. Move! Move! Find cover! You gotta stop moving sometime! Is that yeah. it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. It's, uh, pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie, coming in clearing out these camps. Alright, let's see if they got an underground bunker around. I think I saw it when we were running around. Okay, more tourism stuff. Uh... Where did we see it? It was in a spot that I thought was really weird. I should have mentioned it and then I probably would have remembered. really concentrated over this way.
Here. Uh, yeah, here it is. They're hard to find, man. And it doesn't seem to be a consistent way that each camp lays them out. Like this one just being random away from their main area. Hey, this is handy. A map. All marked up. Yeah, at night. Beautiful. New crafting recipe. Baseball bat axe. I guess they won't be needing it. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay. I want to be on that. It says says uh, new items, but... Not sure why. Okay, we don't need to sleep. We're fine. Anything in here? Hmm. Okay. Let's motor. Guess we're going to use this hunting rifle for a bit. Doesn't seem terrible. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. That should do it. Okay, quick before that thing gets to us. Okay, so... We're going to head back into that area where we found the girl, and... Oh, see, now these are marked. It's really weird. Sometimes they're marked, sometimes they're not. Ugh. A little bit worried about this path, not going to lie. There we go. I'm gonna try to hit that once in a while. See if we can scan any saplings. Might have some action here. A little bit of a trail of death and destruction behind us here. Look at... That's really weird. Oh, we pick up these when we just drive over them. The new deers. Interesting. So there's a whole bunch of stuff marked there, and then we get off the bike. Not so much. Okay. Let's do this, and let's get the hell out. I've got a plan for this one. Oh, it's actually a little bit further away than I thought. Bounty. There we go. Remember we killed that giant bear? Yeah, me too. This is actually way further, but...
We'll take this one out and then do the burn. Sounds like we might need to take a couple out. Looks like it's up top, but I'm wondering if I can hit it from here. I'm gonna try this. Now, I don't know how this is gonna work. If we're in sight. <laughs> it does a pretty good job of bringing them. What the? <laughs> they're, they're stuck. What the? Oh, of course. A wolf. Okay. What in the frick is happening in this area? This is a problem. They're like slowly coming out of there, but I think I'm going to leave the ones that are in the floor. Also, we can now make these. There we go. We're going to leave it. Damn it. we were carrying something. I'm not sure why we weren't attacking with it. Oh, crap. Okay, so they... Okay. That's kind of what I was wondering. Is if they see us... How does it prioritize? It seems to kind of be a split. Come on. That's a problem. So 
in a perfect world, what we do is we... We hide as we light the thing. Chuck the, the Molotov at it. And then, if we really want... We can set down an attractor, which they'll all run to, and then blow them up again. That's an option. It's not, like, the most efficient, but it's not bad. Or we just use the darts that I keep holding off on using for some reason. <laughs> okay, phase one of the plan to go east is done. Next, we're going to have a couple of... Uh, Nero checkpoints. And then we've got... We've got, um... Something with O'Brien. So that's super cool. Might as well grab some things through here. Scrap. I love the big flapjacks guy. So I'm not sure if there's a way for us to like... Maybe that just means that there will be a fuel canister there that we can use. You'd think we could use the pumps, but then... If you could use the pumps... There would be no gas shortage. And everyone would just use the pumps. So maybe it's only for, uh, maybe there's, like, residual that you can blow up or something. This is gonna be rough. Oh! Okay, let's be cool here. 